Hello, Janet, good to see you. Good evening. Good evening good to see you too. Yeah. I'm sorry, yesterday. Oh, did you have problems yesterday? Uh, yeah, with the internet because it was raining. Oh, yes, yes. There are some parts of the country that is raining a lot, right? Yeah, but so hard. Yeah, yeah. But I'm okay. Yes, we, you did it, right? You made it. Okay. When we finish the class? Today, it's the last class, right? That's good. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> I like uh, how you um, give the class. Oh, that's great. Thank you. You know, it is, it is good when you, when students learn, right? And uh, nowadays that English is so important. So it's going to be, it's great, right? It's very important. Yeah. Did you study like English it. before? Mm, when I was in high school. Only in, in that moment? Yes, and after, well, um, I started um, before in intermediate. But some topic I don't understand and prefer to uh, start again for the beginning. Oh, yeah. And uh, did you take like some extra courses or did you study by yourself? Yes. By yourself? By, by yourself. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. Just practice. Ah, just practicing. In your work, do you like uh, have any, let's say, your co workers? speak English or just teachers uh, mm -hmm. teachers teachers of okay. they yeah mm, okay yeah. but did your English is is so good you uh, for me you must not be in this level you have to be in another one more yeah. advanced yeah but I prefer uh, start again mm, okay. Um, okay some topic really don't understand but then for this start Yes, it's better, right? In case that, for example, you have not like study for a very long time, it's it's good. Yeah, that keeps you like. But uh, I feel that um, I lost many pra practice in the speaking. Oh, really? I, I see that yeah. you have a good in, in speaking skill. But I feel that me travel. Okay, I stuck. Mm -hmm. Stuck in in some part. Yes, yes. No, that, but I like it. But for example, what I recommend you is that you practice, right? Like if you have a friend like Oscar, right, that speaks English all the time, <laughs> he can be a good yeah. partner. <laughs> of course. I will okay. try to do it. Okay, okay. good Thank to see you. you. Okay, uh, hello, yeah. guys. Welcome back. So uh, this is going to be the last class, remember? And uh, we have to cover section five and the other ones, plus the test, right? That is going to be for today. Okay, so let's start with the lesson. So before continue, let me congratulate you guys. You made it, right? You did it and you are here finally. You're going to be promoted to the next level. So congratulations to all of you. It's not easy, right? It's not easy to study English after work, right? So it's a long journey. So congratulations to all of you. Okay, so remember we have the presentations, right? So I hope you are ready for the presentations, right? <laughs> Oscar didn't want to see us. Maybe <laughs> he didn't notice, he, he, he activated the camera, right? <laughs> Finally, we see you, Oscar. <laughs> okay, guys, so we have this task, right? Raise your hand if you finished this task. Not I'm going to give you some time, as I told you yesterday, for you to order your ideas in case you need, like to get in agreement. Or if you are ready, we can start now. 
So are you ready, guys? Okay, Rose, in your case, let me know if your group is ready or do you need extra time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Rose. Extra time. Please. Extra time, okay, so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna send you like uh, for 10 minutes, let's say, to the groups, so you get ready. If there is something that it is missed, you can get it done in these 10 minutes, 10 minutes you are going to have. So let's go and uh, I'm gonna send you right to the groups. Just give me one minute, a quick minute, because I need to reorder this, right? The first group was Elsie. Uh, Elsie, I don't see Elsie. Henry, let's see, Henry is here, yes. And Rose. Okay, so in the second group, okay, so I'm gonna send Janet to the first group. And uh, let's see here, okay, I got Kenny, Manuel, and Oscar, yes, perfect. Okay, guys, so let's go and complete the activity because later you're going to present this. Let's go. Everybody's going to speak, right? Don't forget that. Let's go. Let's go.
Okay, guys, hope you are ready with the presentations, right? So, uh, who wants to be the first group, right? Is there somebody who wants to present the group? Mm -hmm. Or I can choose, you guys, I can choose. Mm -hmm. well, we, we just have two options, right? So, I'm going to choose. Right. group let's see i'm gonna do it using this yeah, random box right mm. let's see okay i'm gonna start with the group number two that it is kenny manuel and oscar ready guys Yes, we are. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. I have at the presentation. Manuel. Sorry, sorry. Hello. Good night, everyone. Uh, in this moment, uh, my um, my three games. Uh, bueno, sorry, sorry, sorry. My first, uh, el, uh, my first game. The night is Tenga. Uh, uh, the game play the play are play um, the one or or more playing and the sorry the bad the basic rules are the blocks aren't taken uh, from the let's complete floor and only one hand can be used to remove a block and you can wait uh, 10 seconds to see if the tower falls. Mm, the game ends until the tower falls. The next. Oscar. My, my partner is presented mm -hmm. presentation, my the next game. <laughs> okay, the next game. I'm going to talk about the lottery game. Uh, we can choose the different player. The object is uh, all the figures that have the chosen cartoon. Can all players at one time? Let me take it right. Not the I lost that idea. Okay. Oh God. Sorry. <laughs> uh, by the way, in addition, in some countries, this type of game, the type of games, the people bet money, but particularly in our countries, there are places that use money. In other hands, also this a family game. In my personal opinion, after the pandemic, many people began to play this game again. That's it. Who's next? Oscar, just one question. What is the game about? Can you explain me, please? Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> Usually, in the lottery games, we put the, the different cartoon under table as well some people say 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 the say the, say the, say the, say the, say the 
<laughs> Usually uh, put the beans, teacher. Oh, really? Every, every, every margin that the people uh, pay. Oh, I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> Okay, you try it, Oscar. Perfect. Okay, continue. Sorry, I get stuck. I get stuck. I, I made I made a horrible mistake. The, the, ne the next partner, that's it. The last game is the jump rock. It's very important for health and for for gain <laughs> <Don't. laughs> uh, usually outside but can play inside uh, dependent layers and the play is jumping on the rock and with more people and single tool teacher. Um, can players at one with the same rock? Same is the igual, misma. Okay. With the same rock. Rock and the the wing is doesn't touch the rope in very important not how do you say caerse <laughs> fall right fall fall is very important no no fault only that teaching Okay, guys, we got the Jenga right, and the lot, the lottery, right, the lottery, and then we have the jumping rope. Yes, those are one of my favorite ones, especially the one that explained Oscar, right, the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> especially that one, right? <laughs> burlense, burlense todo lo que ahorita. No es correcto decir I screwed up. <laughs> yes, but that is like a, the informal way when you are with your friends and uh, <laughs> like a, let's say a bad manner of saying that. Okay, so no, but it was a really perfect, right, guys? The purpose here, remember, is that you practice and that you, like if you don't know a word, you can uh, find it, right, and uh, apply that word while you are speaking. Okay, so we have then the next group that it, it is Elsie, Henry, and Rose. I, I guess Janet is going to join you, but since since she was not here yesterday, we're going to like make some exam. So, but if you can, guys, you can start your presentation. Okay, ready, guys? Okay, I will start. Okay. Uh, we are the country Australia. Uh, Coco Racing is a club blading activity which started in 1980 at the story Grace Hotel in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. The event is held on 26 January, Australia Day. And he's giving the I love Australia Day Cockroach Race. The state of racing has spread to many parts on the world, including the general race. North America's photo signs have recently become a popular feature for money, or just for it, entertainment. 
It is held in exhibition position. Entomologists were the public. Entomologists participate. Display of size. How many people play? Five, five persons and five corpses. So, the gaping is when a corpus wins. If they fly, they are dis disqualified. The process of the event are giving away to charity. Things. Things. Present things. Hey, that's amazing. I haven't known about that game, Rose. About these animals, how these animals can have a game. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rose. Uh, is there somebody who is still missing? Okay, somebody is ready. Uh, the ones that has haven't present. No, no more. Okay. So let's just check some of the words, right? That we need to like improve, right? So we have uh, memos. We have the expression. My partner is presentation, right? Okay, someone said there. My partner is presentation. Okay. So remember that we are saying mi, mi compañero continuará. My partner partner, let's say uh, Eric, will continue, will continue. Okay, then we have in other hand, in other hand, I listen that somebody said in other hand, in other hand. Esa expresión es lo que nos indica opuesto, right? On the other hand, so expresión es on the other on the other hand, por otra parte, okay, but it is not in the, in other hand, no. Okay, this one, we, we can't say it. Then we have, tengamos cuidado with the word people, right? Escuché que alguien dijo peoples. Okay, and remember that people, it is without the S, en el caso que usted se esté refiriendo a las personas. Pero si usted se refiere, por ejemplo, cuando dice mi pueblo o mis pueblos o estos pueblos, ahí sí puede utilizar la S. Tiene dos significados la palabra people. Okay? So take care with these words, right? So another, it is more related with pronunciation. Más que todo con pronunciation, right? Recordemos que este número es 19, right? El sonido es más largo. 19. 19. Si no lo mencionamos así, vamos a decir el otro, que es el 90, que sería 90. Así que tengamos mucho cuidado cuando pronunciemos these two numbers, right? Ok, I don't know if you have questions, right, guys, about this part. No questions? Mm -hmm. People is plural. When you are talking about persons, you don't add the letter S, right? Cuando estamos hablando de las personas. Okay. Ahí sí, no. Never. Nunca va a llevar ese. But tiene otro significado. People. ¿Qué significa pueblos? Si usted está diciendo mis o estos pueblos, Usted ahí sí puede agregarle these people, right? Ese es otro significado. Okay, pero si nos referimos a las personas, a un grupo de personas, no podemos agregarle ese. Ok, porque ya la palabra es plural. Ok. Ok. Ok, guys. So, just take care. Tengamos cuidado. When we are speaking sometimes, we say things that we've never imagined, right? Okay, guys, so let me congratulate you guys. Teacher. Yep. Mm -hmm. I should have hung on my cell. Oh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm frustrated. <laughs> yes, we can see your face, right? Of frustration. <laughs> when you activate your camera, right? We see that you're very frustrated. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, guys. So that was just a parenthesis. Let's come back and see what we can learn each day or practice, right? So let me know if you can see the presentation. Can you see the presentation? No? Or yes. Yeah, okay, good. So we have uh, mainly this day, what we are going to do is to practice. We're going to have a short quiz about the topics that we have studied. So, but before continue with this, uh, let's read this information because we're going to have some video activities. Can you help me with the information, please? Let's see. Kenny, can you help me with the information? In, in North America, 97% of people say that the family is the most important, important part of the, their life. But people in North America move often. And many children live home at age 18. Many families only see each other's own important holidays or at family parties. Six percent of all families move every year. On an average day, 160, 438 <laughs> people moving. People often live for away from their parents and grandparents. Only 36% of families see they relatives owns a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have this information, right? Related, this is not a uh, current, let's say, but maybe we can have a parameter of what is happening in the North America continent, right? About, about families. It says that at the age of 18, people used to move, right? So imagine they move, maybe maybe because of the universities, because they are so far from the homes. Yeah, what can be a factor? What do you think is a factor, guys, that contributes for people moving so early? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Okay, what, what do you think about this? Um, let's see, uh, Rose. In our country, for example, when do children leave home at, at what age, let's say? Mm -hmm. This one, when do children leave home? Mm -hmm. um, a qué edad? What age? Let's say ellos dejan su hogar, leave home. Eighteen. Eighteen. It can be right. It can be. And nowadays, esto ha cambiado. This has changed a lot. Para el propósito de la vida, right? Okay. Thank you, Rose. So we have this number. How do you say this number? 116,438. How do you say that, guys, in English? Who wants to try that number? That big number. Who wants to try that one? Mm -hmm. Yes, volunteers to do that number. What? What? One hundred. Yeah, one hundred. Mm -hmm. One hundred sixteen. Sixteen thousand. Thousand. Mm -hmm. What else? Four hundred thirty-eight. That's right. Four hundred 
peri, peri, e. e. It is like, it is like in Spanish, right? Cuando decimos, se parece, well, if you want to say like that in Spanish. Ciento, what? Ciento dieciséis mil, we have dieciséis, right? Mil cuatrocientos, right? Treinta y ocho. So it's basically the same, right? Even in English and Spanish in that part. Not all of them are repeated. But if you if you have like some problems when doing this type of numbers, you can use that technique. Okay, no questions about this part, guys. Oh. Okay, good. So let's uh, try, uh, we're going to watch a video about this family. So you're gonna tell me, you're gonna answer this section. Okay, let's take a look of this. And then we are going to have a short quiz, right? Second. Hi, I'm Beth, and this is my husband, Chris. We're here for a family picnic. We're having the picnic in the country. That's my dad, Ted. He loves to fish. And that's my mom, Angela, on the left. She's talking to my Aunt Helen and Uncle James. Helen is my mom's sister, and James is Helen's husband. And that's my sister, Kimberly. Jake's playing in the woods. He's 12 years old and very active. Jake, what are you doing? Kimberly is Jake's mom. <laughs> Jake. So Jake is my nephew. That's Ryan and Megan. Ryan is Kimberly's husband, and Megan is their daughter. So he's my brother-in-law, and she's my niece. Here are my mom's parents, Kathleen and Jerry. So they're my grandmother and grandfather. They're my grandparents. <gasps> oh, look, this Ted. What's he doing? He's trying to catch a fish. <laughs> okay, everybody, over here. And now Chris is taking a family photograph. <laughs> he takes a picture of us every time we get together. Say cheese. Cheese. And that's my family. Okay, guys, there you have the video. Let's try to answer this section, right? Let's see. Moment. Okay. So what, uh, let's try to, to use this one, right? It says, Caitlin and Jerry are vets, mothers, or father? What is the answer in that part? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Kathleen and Jerry are vets, mother. Mm -hmm. That's right. So then we have the second one. Bet's father or Bet's brother-in-law likes to fish. Who is the one that likes to fish? Bet's father. Bet's father's right. But number three, Kately and Jerry are looking for birds. Birds, birds right. Also, they were looking for the sun too, right? Because it was playing. 
What about number four? Pet's mother, aunt, and uncle are getting ready to? Cook lunch. To cook lunch, right? What about Beth's niece is Kimberly or Megan? Kimberly. Kimberly. Kimberly, right? Yes. What about at every family picnic, Beth's husband? Takes a photograph. Takes a photograph, yes. Typically, right? Typically about these uh, family events. Okay, guys, remember we are going to have a quiz, a short quiz about the tenses that we have been targeting, right? These, we're going to stop just a moment and we are going to see, right, how much we have learned these two topics that are very useful. Okay, let's go to your WhatsApps and uh, sign me with your name. Give me just a moment to share the link. See, and you go now to the link, guys. I'll be sharing these two here. Let's go. Okay, can we eat there? Okay, remember to write your name right. Okay, there it is. So who is missing? Two, four, six. No, we are complete. Okay, let's go.
Okay, let's see the winners. Rose, Kenny, and John. Who is John? Who is John? Or yes? Who is this person? Me, Janet. <laughs> I thought it was a boy. Pensé que era un hombre. <laughs> No, it's my contraction of my oh, name. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yo, no, yo no seguí, teacher, porque a partir de la segunda ya no me dejaba pasar. Si se fija, ninguna tengo contestada a partir de la segunda. Yes, yes that's right. Happened. Sí, por, por eso no seguí, pues si usted se fija, ni, ni siquiera incorrectas están ni correctas las mías. Mm. Igual, igual yo, teacher. ¿Qué pasó con este juego? Henry, sí, sí, yes, no sé, problemas técnicos, maybe. Okay, so, congratulations to Janet, right? Okay, let's finish with one activity more, guys. And uh, remember, that, that was just for you to practice mainly, right? Okay, so, right now, guys, I want you to... Think of a person, right? Of a person that it is interesting to you. That, for example, it is like a, like a person from your family. And because of the time, we are not working in the breakout rooms. But I want you to, to write right about that special person from your family all of us have a special person in our families uh, you have to describe for example his or her name uh, what is the relation you have or what does he or she do where is he living or she how old and is he married or single if you are ready to present this person we can do it and uh, yes, right, to know more about your family. Okay, is there somebody who wants to share this information? Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you say no ha sido mi día? This is not my day. Okay. Oh, really, why not? Why not, Oscar? I made a lot of mistakes. The quiz doesn't, doesn't <laughs> didn't, work. Didn't, didn't work. work. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Sí, reíte, Kenny. Está bueno. <laughs> no, sí. Hoy se está pero gozando, Kenny, porque ha sido mi día. Lo hemos visto en la cámara, mire, pues. Eso sí. es lo más. <laughs> that, is, that is the funniest part. <laughs> Okay, guys, so let's try to discuss about your family, right? So who wants to share about your favorite or an interesting person? In my case, I have an interesting relative. She is very, very special because she's my aunt, by the way. She is my aunt. She likes to be everywhere so she has to be like paying attention for everything we do we say but she's older maybe that's why she's not married and she's lonely maybe because of that we you have to be patient so what can you tell me about a family member a special maybe maybe this person is something that you admire from here or her so do you have a, a special relative or friend, right? It could be a friend. So who wants to share? Mm -hmm. What about you, Manuel? Do you have a special or an interesting relative or friend? Yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, I... I have an uh, interesting relative. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yeah. him or her. Uh, he, you know, his, his name is Rosa. And I have five, five years uh, with she or with her. Mm -hmm. 
sorry. With her. Uh -huh. With her. Uh -huh. mm, how do you say uh, vamos a ser papás dentro de poco? Oh, you're going to be parents. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. We're going to have a baby shower. <laughs> yeah. Coming. <laughs> congratulations, Manuel. Thank you, Thanks. Oh, and, and she's and she's special. Okay, continue. Yeah. Uh, in my in my, my person, uh, I am I I I am nervous. <laughs> but happy. You are nervous but happy, right? Because of the baby. Yeah. Because oh, of the baby. Yeah. I <laughs> guess it's, it's, it's my first baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, on time, right? It is yes. babies are like a, a blessing. They are a blessing, right? Thanks, teacher. Okay, so congratulations. Congratulations one more time, Manuel. So that is one objective more right to keep studying English, guys, because uh, we can have more opportunities, right? So I encourage you to uh, practice English. Okay. That's it, teacher. That's it. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Okay, guys, it's almost time. Uh, vamos a finalizar. We're going to finish the class here. Let me just congratulate you guys and encourage you guys to keep studying English. Okay? So, los motivo a que sigan estudiando inglés, right? As you can see, English is nowadays essential to have better opportunities. Mm -hmm. No, no, siempre hay un cambio. So, that is for, uh -huh. eso lo hacen más que todo para que ustedes eh, puedan escuchar diferentes acentos. Right? Yes, Henry, but we, you have to keep practicing, right? Que los felicito a todos y espero ya la próxima clase que si tenemos o nos vemos, pues ya. Speak only English, right? Not Spanish anymore. Okay, guys. Thank you very much, teacher. Thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, guys. See you in the future. I am aware. Okay. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, guys. Cuídense. Take care. Good night. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Oscar. Pleasure to meet you, Oscar. Keep working, keep working. Me too. <laughs> okay, guys, see you. Bye, Bye guys, take Bye, care. Cuídense. Un gusto. Gracias, un gusto, Henry. See you. Bye, Janet. See you.